All right, YouTube, what's going on? Down here at Front Sight, I couldn't tell by the t-shirt. Just doing a little vlog, I guess you'd call it. Uh, just after my day one experience, I'm outside at my little, we're seeing like this little uh, RV resort. It's got these little cottages. It's pretty pretty slick, actually. Pretty much out in the middle of nowhere, though. It's kind of weird. So I just want to talk about my experience Front Sight. This is actually my second time going down there. And this time I brought my mom and stepdad with me, who are both uh, novice shooters. My stepdad's actually... You know, he shoots trap and stuff, and he's actually pretty good with the pistol. He just doesn't shoot it very often, but my mom is brand new to guns, and, um, you know, she wants to uh, learn how to shoot and get a concealed carry permit and stuff. You know, she's a school teacher, and after what happened uh, this last couple of years of school shootings and stuff, she's really passionate about it. So, so it's been interesting. Um, sorry if you get a little wind from outside. Um, interesting, just a couple things to note. Being Going down to a class like this with brand new shooters the curriculum this is only the two-day defensive handgun they do a four-day which would have been better but um, this is all i think they can handle their age they're in their 60s and it's interesting the curriculum kind of doesn't um go towards novice shooters i don't think i think they should spend more time with them on focusing on um you know side alignment side picture trigger control trigger reset and they do spend time with that but they kind of then move on to the next thing which is like you know, some sort of tactical thing, which novice shooters may, you know, kind of get left behind. So that's just kind of an impression. I've done the class before. I'm an avid shooter. So for me, it's kind of a mundane class, actually. Um, but that's just something kind of, kind of, kind of noted with them. So i uh, just kind of show you what I, what I used down here. I took down the uh, XDS just to show you it is unloaded. Um, took down the XDS, which I almost didn't think they'd let me use because it's, they technically want you to use a full-size pistol in this. They have a list of pistols you can't use, and a lot of them are this size, but they let me use it no problem, which is cool. So when using the XDS, has been 100% reliable. It's been awesome, very accurate. I've had some of the extended nine-round mags, and I have four mags total. I have two seven-rounders that came with the gun, and two nine-rounders. And I've been using the, because they do require a mag pouch, I'm using the XD mag pouch, which has been awesome. It came with the gun and the XDS paddle holster, which also came with the gun, so that's really good value. You don't have to go out and buy an extra holster. Uh, the ammo I've been using is the Federal Champion 100 pack. Been 100% reliable, so I've had known issues. Um, ear protection, I use these Caldwell electronic muffs. They're kind of the slimmer ones. Got them for super cheap deal, um, but you can get them on Amazon for like 30 bucks or less. And then I'm using the Upalula loader, which is the best magazine loader ever made i mean it's insane there's multiple calibers i've had this thing for years it's put up it's loaded thousands of magazines so it's awesome and then i had the black hawk um gun belt had this for a long time too so kind of the gear i've been running uh, and then the 511 um tack light shorts and then you can see i'm wearing some front side stuff um kind of funny i'm actually wearing a t-shirt because i had to buy one there because my overnight bag got left um in southern utah where we're staying so i have like basically no <laughs> clothes to buy a shirt i'm doing laundry here um so i have clean underwear and stuff so kind of a funny experience you know at first i was pissed but now i just kind of laugh at it and luckily the place here has the laundry so anyway guys just want to record a quick video this is you know keep it under five minutes just kind of tell you about my experience front side this time and how it's been a lot different than last time last time i was just here for myself to learn and this time you know, they've treated me completely different because I'm a, I've, they ask you if you're a returning student. I say yes. They don't spend a lot of time with me and they do things a little differently than they do with like the newer students. So that's nice, but I still think they could spend a little bit more time with the novice shooters and not move on to the next drill just because that's how they do things. You know, I wish they would kind of do that. So just some feedback. Um, all right, guys, that's going to be it for now. Um, any questions or comments, leave them down below. And Probably have a day two vlog um, of experience at Front Sight and then maybe some uh, videos later this week about, you know, some of the places we go in uh, southern Utah. So, all right, take her easy.